Hey, good morning. It's the dude. It's Friday. I hope everybody's doing good. I hope you slept good last night. Um, and I hope you're just waking up to this day, just clear-headed, open-minded, and looking forward to a nothing but success and progress. I see you out there trying, man. Keep trying, keep struggling, keep maintaining, keep that balance. Let's get into it. Who likes giveaways? Dude, is that an iPhone 14 Plus red? What if I were to tell you I'm going to have a giveaway? All you have to do is be the first person to actually reach your goal. And you can have what's in this box. You know, this iPhone 14 Plus, red, plus, yes, I said plus. All you got to do is go ahead and stop drinking or go ahead and lose that 30 pounds you've been thinking about, but just can't quite push yourself to do it. And, uh, or whatever it is. And what's in this box can be yours. Well, the sad thing is, unfortunately, it's not an iPhone that I have for you. It's something better. It's Herb. No, I'm just kidding. It's not Herb. It's not. This is serious. Let's open this box up. Dropped it. Appears to be an ink pen. Some gel pen on top of that. Get a pen or a pencil or a crayon or a magic marker, highlighter, a stick and some mud, and write down your goal. And today's date today's time and I don't know even if you want to go as far as to write down what you were doing what you were thinking about what you were listening to on the radio or in your Apple music whatever fold it up put it in an envelope I guess maybe seal it up and mail it to yourself So you write down, uh, today is September 1st. I was listening to Radiohead creep and it, it, it just came, came to me that I'm going to, I'm going to make this change. I'm going to write this down and I'm going to, and I'm going to start, I'm going to get motivated. I was, I was eating some cocoa puffs, drinking some Dunkin' Donuts coffee, whatever. Mail it to yourself. And then see what happens quicker. If you get that letter quicker after you mail it, or if you actually start your goal. You start progress. You start you just one step at a time. You start working on it. Now, what's going to happen? Are you... Are you going to be that motivated? You write that down and you're like, you know, that's it. Boom. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm out. I'm done. I'm, I'm tired of feeling like I'm tired of this weight, this monkey on my back, whatever it is. Now, is that going to motivate you to boom, boom? You know, or is that layer going to come to you before you actually get started and, and motivated? But here's a good thing, though. Even if, even if you're a little bit of a slow starter, Guess what? When that letter comes in a couple days, that's a reminder. You open it up and you're like, okay, Radiohead. Yeah, I remember that. Cocoa Puffs. Damn. You know what? I'm going to do this now. Maybe that'll work for you. You know, maybe not. 
but it'll save your life. So, so my biggest gift to you, I mean, that you have to give to yourself and question yourself if you really want it, is the gift of life. Now, you might sit there and say, well, you know, I could get hit by a train. Yeah, you could, man. You absolutely could. Yep. You have a heart attack. You could have a stroke. You could, uh, I, I could think of a few more excuses. We can make excuses, and there's always that negative, uh, passive-aggressive guy in the corner. And I've, I've been that guy before, so hey, I can say it. There's always that person that's always got something negative to say about anything you have to say or any situation. And you know that person. We all know that person. Probably more than one person like that. But the so what I'm saying is like you see a contest for a free iPhone 14 plus all you got to do is lose 20 pounds and, and and it's yours or stop drinking for six months or whatever you, you feel my drift I'm sure but so, an iPhone, bro, it's Friday, you know what I'm saying? I love you, man. I love all of you, man. Everybody. Look. Just be yourself, man. Do your thing. With or without, whatever. Just be, be yourself, man. How many of us can be ourselves, like, honestly, really, truly be the way we really are? and want to be around everybody. Who's not embarrassed to do that? Not me, not anymore. Nope, I'm done with that. So, you know, if, if you don't like that, pff, hey man. What's the old saying? Kick up some rocks, dog. I don't give a fuck. Let me say it again, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. Not anymore. But let me distract myself even further. One second. So, my point being an iPhone 14 Plus is about, I don't know, $899 to $1,000. I don't know. It depends. I, I got mine for free. I'm not going to lie. I didn't pay shit. All I had to do was switch phone companies. And I was with Straight Talk anyway. So, you know, what's up? <laughs> Give me a chance for Verizon. And, you know, Apple. Hey, you know what? If Apple wants to kick in and give me some iPhones to give away to get some people motivated, I'll do it. Yo, Apple. Somebody share this with Apple or whoever. To, you, whoever. I'll do giveaways, but I can't afford to do giveaways if I don't have anything to give away, you know what I'm saying? So, iPhone 14 plus, about a thousand bucks, we'll say. And like, that's a lot of money. I, shit, I don't even have whatever. I'm not even a hundred air right now. So yeah, a thousand bucks, man, yeah. Or a new phone, fuck yeah, bro. I'll put the Bud Light down for a week. I won't buy that liquor this week. I'm gonna buy that bag of weed, but hey, man, even that. I'll pass on the weed this week, whatever it is, man. I'm gonna get that iPhone, that red, whatever. And and and, and that's and it, the sad thing is, it's not until we're on our deathbeds or in a really serious situation or or in, in a lot of trouble or you know, out on the street, you know, we don't realize how we get distracted by things like phones and, and things that people give away and, and, and we don't realize that our life is priceless. Our life is way worth way more than a thousand dollars. Think about it. Man, you know, it sucks. 
I mean, it really sucks. Because, I mean, I, I'm not judging. I've done it myself. That's what makes me think about this kind of stuff because I've been through it. But it's like, man, it's like we. some of us, I'm not going to say all of us. Some of us, some of you are like, hey, God bless you. But some of us are like, we don't, we can't see what's right in front of, in front of us sometimes or appreciate it until it's too late. It could be your own life. It could be somebody you care about. It could be anything. You don't need to generalize. But but we will focus on, let's just say, your life. So we'll do it for that iPhone, but but we'll, we'll keep sitting on the couch or in the chair or laying in the bed and thinking about it until it kills us. Yeah. That's, that's, that's fucked up, isn't it? We could have the best of intentions in our lives. We could be great people and, and, and do nothing but good, man. Just have a good heart. And just like love people, man. Unrequited love. Whatever, man. Any kind of love. But then be laying in that bed alone tortured with our own mind our own thoughts and things that are holding us back and our demons and our monkeys on our backs man and that just the weight of the world that that atlas bro and so many people die good people that just didn't realize all it takes is one step one step one step free free of charge one step for your life god dang man one step I get emotional I'm trying not to but man one step one step is all you have to take it doesn't have to be all at once. You know, people care about you, man. You gotta live as long as you can. Yeah, you you might get hit by a bus. You might fucking fall and hit your fucking head. But you might not. You might be around for another 40 or 50 years. We want you around, okay? Whoever you are, whoever is listening to this or, or watching this, we want you around, man. Even if you're a fucking dickhead. We don't want anybody to fucking die. Insert joke, whatever, but man, I didn't realize that one step, it doesn't have to be one particular thing, just one step in one direction for some kind of, of improvement in your life. One step and you see all this motivational shit and, and you hear it and you're like, fuck. Until you start to live it, you will never understand it. Now. It might motivate you and you might like, yeah, man, fucking this and that. But you will never, ever, ever, ever understand it until you live it. And it's free. There's no, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, man, look, I promise you I can help you get your life together for this low price. No, man, you can't afford it. You can't afford what I can do for you. You shouldn't have to pay for it in the first place, but I'm going to do it for you because I love you. Okay? And I'm here for you, man. And I love you. So just live, man. Don't don't just give your life away or your freedom or whatever f without purpose. You know, don't just... You don't have to get something like a gift to benefit. You know what I mean? Live, man. Your life... Nobody can afford that price tag. And once it's over, I mean, some of us live on in spirit. I highly recommend you start documenting your life in some way, either in photographs or you write things down or you do stuff like this and you leave some kind of record of your life so people have a clue of what was going on with you in the last years of your life or days or weeks, whatever, man. 
Some of us live alone and spend a lot of time alone and people don't understand what we go through and, and what we think and what we're dealing with. So man, share it, man, write it down. So maybe even if when you're not here anymore, somebody can understand you and live your life through your words. But man, just live, man. God. Your life, whether you think it's worth it or not, whether you sit there and think, oh man, I'm a piece of shit. Well, you might be a piece of shit, <laughs> but your life is priceless. You are priceless. Even if you're a piece of shit, I still love you, man. Damn, got nothing but love. So we're just gonna do this victory hit and I'm gonna leave it with that, man. And look, Anybody that needs to reach out to me anytime, feel free, and I will do anything for you within my power. Now, I can't promise anything, but I can be here for you. I can promise you that, all right? As always, spread the word, man. Join the revolution. Rise up, Timu Nation. Stay hydrated. The motherfucking ants are back. I haven't seen ants in like eight months. And uh, I think it's from the hurricane or they go out looking for water and shit. And then all of a sudden I see ants. You know, if you live in Florida, you know the routine. And there's nothing. I mean, even I, and I keep my place immaculate. It's just one of those things. It could be worse. Just be good, man. Be healthy, man. And I love you, man. And you hang on there. You hang on, all right? You take that stuff. You write that down and you mail it. And you do it. I love you, man, if nobody else does, all right? Let's do this. And I will talk to you soon. And I better see you back here again next time. All of you. All three of you, six of you, ten of you, whoever. I'll be here. You better be here. Come out.